Hey guys, thanks so much for being here for another home renovation video. We have already showed the viewing of the home, then purchasing the home, and then a whole bunch of demo and just the first steps to gutting everything really. I know there's a lot of new faces here, which thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really helps support my channel if you do subscribe. So if you have not watched those videos yet, I would highly encourage you to go back and watch those so you can see it from the start. But in this video, we're going to be focusing on finishing up the last bits of demo and preparing to start rebuilding the new areas. It is another absolutely gorgeous day. We got so much done yesterday. It was probably one of the most productive days yet. And I feel like we're finally starting to see things happening. We're making progress, so that's very exciting. And today we are getting our foundation work done, which is such a relief. They're gonna get the house much more level, all jacked up, and then also do some Everbrace walls so that there's no caving in or cracking. They're gonna do spray foam insulation around all of the rocks. So that's gonna be much more energy efficient. Overall, it's gonna be great. So glad we're having somebody else do it. If we paid for anything to be done by someone else, this was 100% what we wanted to pay for. <laughs> we would rather do anything else ourselves other than foundation and I know it's gonna get done very well this way. So that's exciting. They're gonna get here around 12 today. Before they get here, I have one more project I want to tackle in the kitchen and get it cleaned up. And then I don't think we're supposed to be in the house while they're working after that. So we'll just be doing other things on the sidelines besides being in the house. This is where we left off yesterday. We got carried away taking this off and it actually is coming off easier than we thought so that's exciting i just got done with my consultation i got a call from dbs and they're like we need you to come into your basement with us because we found something very suspicious <laughs> we'll see what it is dominic is there right now and i can't wait to get home i'm so curious it's an old well that's our guess what in the world yeah <laughs> That's crazy. So since this is pretty much exactly where the smart jack has to go, it would need to be filled with gravel. Now we get to unload this entire thing of dirt. Okay, that's enough, stop. Basically had to just frame all new joists. Okay. These blocks, are like essentially the top track is screwed into all of them. Filling this huge hole, which goes all the way back underneath, was so exhausting. We had to carry these five gallon buckets all the way down the stairs throughout the house, around the house, because the trailer broke right in the driveway. So we had a pretty long walk. You should have <laughs> <laughs> we literally have green grass and it's February. This is lovely. Also, I love the sun that's always going to be in our backyard at this time. Okay, let's discuss the situation of this 
half bathroom, which recently just had a shower in it. You can see they literally cut out the windowsill to fit the shower and they were sealing the window with gloves. It was really sad. There was quite literally a two by four kind of under the toilet, making it level where you see the paint square. That's where the toilet was supposed to be against the wall. I've never taken a toilet out, so I'm excited to see how this goes. I put it on the drill on reverse. I'm guessing I'm kind of close to it. I have Dom to help me take it off. Oh, Ew. That's disgusting. Yay. Wow. Bowsers. Cool beans. We left to summer and we came home to winter. One hour later, welcome to Wisconsin. I think it's pretty nice. Overall, for Facebook marketplacing them, it's pretty good. I love this situation right there. That's incredible. And in that part. The time has come to chisel away at this plaster, get it off of the chimney. This was so much more difficult than the big chunks we got off right away. As you can see, the side is super thin compared to the front area. I'm not sure why they did it that way, but the thick stuff was so easy to get off. And then this thin stuff on the side was so, so difficult. This was extremely sped up. I will tell you, this took hours. I would come out here multiple times different days and just work at it slowly here and there. My hands would eventually become numb and I hit my hand that was holding the chisel so so many times because you'll hit the plaster and then your chisel will bend in weird and then I would just smack my knuckle instead of the chisel and it was so painful after a while. I think I have some form of permanent damage in my bone at this point and I'm not kidding. Not to sound dramatic, it's not nerve damage or anything. It's just this bump that has never gone away since and it's been a month or so now. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. I've been busy pulling nails but I'm super tired and I needed a pick-me-up. So I got myself a really good espresso coffee to pick me up. It'd be a warm drink. Perfect, right? Didn't think about the fact that I wear the mask the whole time I'm in here so I can't even drink it. And yes, I could take the mask off, but it's such a pain to take off. It's the glasses, then the straps, just for coffee. So I know it'll be hot for me when I'm done. And the one drink I had was nice, and now we're gonna go at it. <laughs> I got all the nails off of the walls, as well as the ceiling. Obviously you can't probably see a difference or even tell, but it's really nice to know that's done. And now they're just all over the floor, which will probably be really satisfying to clean up actually. Oh boy, this wall has seemed to be a never ending thing. My simple mind, not so much Dominic, was thinking we could just put drywall over quite literally everything. And then we were like, no, we should at least take the paneling off and then we'll make sure all the plaster behind it is good to go. And we'll just put the drywall over that like we were the rest of exterior walls. I don't have any of this filmed for you guys, so I'm just going to tell you ahead of time. But after taking off the paneling, we realized the plaster just falls right off. So then we took all plaster off as well. Then after doing that, we realized this entire wall is not insulated, not whatsoever at all. Every other wall is. We checked. We made holes. This one is not. So we pried off all quarter inch thick boards and it's good to go for insulation and it's going to be done right. Wow. I'm lucky I have thick pants on. 
if I would have cut my leg guide, a nail went through a little bit, but that is not bad for what it could have been. I'll clean it and it will be totally fine. Literally just a scratch. If I didn't have super thick pants on, like these things are hefty, then it could have been bad. Anyways, the nails are face down. <laughs> we got ourselves a working garage door. I'd say that's pretty nice. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet, Sweet sauce. I love that that thing works. What is the slap? So this house was originally a one and a half bathroom, the half bathroom being on the main level we and we want it to be cool. two full bathrooms. So we are Hello. extending the half bathroom into a bedroom. So we're just gonna take the dividing wall out and then reframe it into the bedroom. We just started by cutting out two big sections of the wall and then later we went and trimmed up the sides so that they could be almost perfectly flush with the new wall we put in. Later that night, my dad was so kind to come over and help us get this washing machine and dryer down into the basement. It was originally right in the middle of the kitchen. Clearly, we don't want it to stay there, but it's actually a good brand and it does work. So we're just going to keep this one, but move it into the basement. It was definitely very confusing getting it disconnected to be two separate ones in order to get it down our very tiny basement stairway. We actually ended up having to take off all of the framing for the door of above the stairs just to fit the washing machine and dryer through it. We also got very lucky because it just fit underneath the new kitchen jacks they just put in, which you absolutely cannot move. So we were really happy they ended up fitting where they were supposed to be. This was the first of very many lumberyard pickups. We started by getting a whole bunch of two by fours. Once we got back to the house, Dominic finished taking out the whole bathroom wall and I just unloaded all of these two by fours. These are gonna be used for a few temporary walls that we need to build and put up in order to take down some load bearing walls, as well as the new bathroom framing for making it into a full bathroom. Today is the day to take care of this trailer once and for all. It has been sitting in our driveway in the way for so long because it's been broken and we have not had the time to fix it, but it's in the way of our huge dumpster getting emptied. So it has become a problem that is now top priority for us. So we took all the sand out, put it into my dad's trailer, got the wheel off and we can drive it back to our parents like this. I got the bathroom cleaned up while Dominic was doing that. And then we went straight into building our new bathroom walls into the bedroom. So that's just a hint of some of the stuff you will see in the next home renovation vlog. Would you look at that? What well, that's perfect. Not even close. <laughs> oh well. So that's gonna be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Please like and subscribe if you are not subscribed already so you don't miss out on any of the future renovations. A lot is gonna be happening from here on out, especially with rebuilding of the home since basically all of the demo is done and we're starting on framing and adding new things and actually turning it into something new, which I cannot wait to share with you all. So thank you so much again for being here. And with that, we will see you in the next one.